Okay, so I've got a few bits and pieces ready. Now, first of all, <laughs> you're going to be thinking, what on earth is this? Well, this is obviously just a very cheap shop. <laughs> A very cheap sock <laughs> from a cheap shop. That's quite difficult to say. And you know me, since moving here, I like to use things that I find sort of like in the garden. Just to, I don't know, just something a little bit nice about it. So I have got two of these. I've got no idea what they are. If you know, please let me know in the comments below. Um, that one's got holes in it. I've got no idea why. I haven't taken it out to show you putting it in because it was a bit tricky to put in, but there it is. So this is going to be the gnome's body. Now, it might actually be too big, but hey ho, if it is, oh no. I've also got some little stones from outside in our garden, <laughs> and I'm going to pour them in there first just to sort of like make the bottom part as sturdy as I can. Actually, I've just realised the next bit of filling I might not be able to get in here because the sock is so stretched, which makes the, whoops, the top bit very tight. Pour them in. So he's going to look like he's standing on a base, really. But I suppose that doesn't really matter, does it? OK, so that's that bit. Now, I went to a second-hand shop the other day and I thought I'm going to buy a cheap pillow or a cheap cushion because around us, we don't have any craft shops that sell anything like um, stuffing for toys or anything like that. So <laughs> I got this cushion home. I'm actually sitting on the majority of it right now. When I opened it up, it was feathers. So there were feathers flying everywhere. I only opened it up a tiny bit, actually, and then I took out what I wanted or what I thought I would need, and then I super glued it back together again. So I have no idea how these, how I'm going to get them in here. I really don't, but let's just have a go. I've already hoovered, and I probably shouldn't have bothered today. Because they may go all over the place or of course I could just pick them up by the handful let's try that oh my goodness there's obviously much easier ways of doing this I tell you a way that I did see on YouTube the other day for filling gnomes and that was to use cheap bath salts what a great idea. You get like a good shape from them and they smell beautiful. So next time I find a pound land or somewhere similar to that, I'm going to try it. Oh, tickling my nose. Right. Well, that's actually feel better than I thought it would have. So I'm now going to endeavour to get the rest back in this bag <laughs> I have got an elastic to put round his hair I think hair elastics are better to use than um, elastic bands because they can rot or of course you can wrap some wool or anything around You see the feathers flying. <laughs> there you go. So let's have a look and see how that's gonna that's gonna sit. Okay, right. So it looks a little bit on the large side. <laughs> But I can squeeze that in and hopefully that will look better. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to cut down the sock.
Might as well pull out those loose feathers that are in there. Yes, it's probably not a good idea to use feathers, but I wasn't sure what was inside the cushion. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to tie that in a little knot. Which will give him a little bit more height and I will cut the ends off of there. There we go. Okay, now I don't know about you, but I have real problems finding these white mop heads. So when I saw them in the shop, I grabbed them quickly. So I think what I'm going to do, because he is actually going to be a little on the large size, size i am going to give him a full head of mop head <laughs> and then we're going to trim him around afterwards and give him the nose and everything else that he needs so i will plug in my my um hot glue gun and we'll go from there so the glue gun is ready so I'm going to pop a nice big dollop on the top. There we go. And I found the centre of the mop and I'm just going to pop that on and press it down. That's only going to take a matter of seconds to stay in place. There we go. Now, I'm not going to worry about his hat just yet. I'll do him in a second. Um, I've actually got a tiny gap there. I wonder why that is. Maybe it's sort of where the, the mop sort of like has started to be created, if you know what I mean. <laughs> Right, okay. So I think what I'll do is I'm going to sit him on here for now just so I can give a little trim of his beard and his hair. Well, obviously his hair could stay could stay nice and long if you wanted it to, but I quite like mine just to be at the right length. So I'm just going to go round it, give it a little trim, probably to about the middle of that base that I sat him in.
Obviously, don't get rid of these because you can use these for another project. And in hindsight, I think I should have left, left his hair a little bit longer. But hey-ho, it's done. And he's still going to look very handsome. So it's probably time to think about popping on his hat. So let's find a place where it looks quite good. Good length. There we go. And I like mine to tilt. Oh, I don't know. I like it tilted back and forwards as well, really. Let's put a little bit of glue on the back. I'm going to use this as the back. Didn't do that very good. There you go. A little bit at the front. I'm going to trim him a little bit more at the front because it's a little bit uneven. <clears throat> so let's pop the... I'm going to pop the glue sort of like not quite in the middle. So I've got a bit of room for his nose there. Well, I was going to use this once again. It's something that I found in our garden. We had like tiny little um, plastic oranges and lemons, but um, I think it's going to be too big for his nose. No, it's not. No, it's not. You can, when you're a gnome, you've got to have a big nose, haven't you? <laughs> Let's give it a try. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to pop a nice wad of glue on. And I'm just going to sort of like pop it so it's pushed right underneath his nose. Can you see like that? I'll just sit him there for a bit. These are just so cute. I love them. And what I'm going to do now, now he's sort of like stuck to the mop or his hair, should I say, I'm going to pop a little bit of glue on the top and just glue that to the pot as well. Now you can paint that before or after, whatever you like to do. I usually like to pop a little bit of pink, um, pink makeup on. <laughs> Oh, how cool is he how cool is he let's pop him a little bit of pink makeup on happen to have some here His nose is plastic, so I'm not really sure how well the makeup will go on. Or, of course, you can pop some paint on it. Whatever you prefer. God, there's a little bit of pink going on his nose. Right, now, of course, he's a boy, so I can't go too over the top with him, unfortunately. 
but I think I will give him maybe either a bow or a flower and a couple of leaves. Let me see what I can find. <laughs> you should see the state of my table and my my floor underneath me. Everything is just feathers and mop bits. <laughs> what I'm going to do is I'm going to pretend he's a little Spanish man because um, anybody that's, well, obviously, if you've done anything farming in Spain, which, of course, we have, everything gets tied up with baling twine. In fact, one day I went out with some shorts that were even tied up with baling twine. So what I'm going to do is, I don't have any baling twine, but I'm going to cut a little piece of rope and I'm going to untangle it. And um, just give them a little bit of decoration with that. Okay, so I'm going to start him off with a little bit of glue. I'm going to start him off on this side because that's probably where I'll put the flower. Oh gosh, I put far too much on then. I'm just going to wrap this round. Bit of crissy crossy, bit more hot glue there. Yowch! There we go. Let's find something to go to go on his on his hat now. A little bow or something, not too girly, of course. Okay, I have decided all I'm going to do is pop a couple of tiny little flowers in his hair. I bought some ribbon a couple of days ago, but I can't find it. But that might be a little bit too feminine for him anyway. So let's just do a couple of little blobs of hot glue. What are you doing, Caspar? You're looking for something to steal? That's what he normally does. <laughs> Whoops. There we are. So there he is. Um, looking at him from a distance, I'm very disappointed with how 
sure I've cut that. So I am going to do a lady in a minute and I will, of course, make sure that I cut that better. But apart from that, I hope you like him. I think he's quite cute, isn't he? Yes, you think so, Stormy? Anyway, thanks for joining, guys. Uh, don't forget, if you liked it, give us a thumbs up or subscribe to the channel. We will be so grateful. The more of you that subscribe, the more that Facebook shows us to other people. And hopefully they will enjoy seeing my little pothead man. Okay, catch up soon.